Hello guys. So uh, this is the tutorial series on artificial intelligence and today's topic is Turing test in artificial intelligence. And this is very important. Okay. And myself Dr. Deepas Dipora and suggest that uh, go through this video very sincerely and very seriously. And one thing I will ask a question at the end of the video and you do comment the answer. Okay, and it is possible only when you um, you are watching this video very seriously. Okay, so let's begin. During test in AI. So I think that you have already heard about during this work, especially in theory of computation. You may be already going through the uh, during machine. Okay, to recognize the recursively enumerable language we do use. Turing machines, isn't it? So now coming to this Turing test in AI. In 1950, Alan Turing, do you remember the name? Alan Turing introduced a test to check whether a machine can think like a human or not. So the main objective was whether a machine can think like a human or not. And this test is known as a Turing test. And in this test, Turing proposed that the computer can be said to be an intelligent if it can mimic human response under specific conditions. So what does it mean by it can mimic human response? It means that under some situation or with respect to some specific condition, that machine can just copy the responses that usually a human uh, do with respect to that particular condition got it means if you you know you are a human uh, with respect to a particular condition then you you will do this task okay the same thing if it is being copied by that machine and doing the same thing then it will be known as mimicking your response by that machine so under the Turing test, he proposed that the computer can be said to be an intelligent only if it can mimic a human response. Okay. And this test, means Turing test, was introduced by Alan Turing in his 1950 research paper. And the name of the research paper where it was published is Computing Machinery and Intelligence. And this paper considered the question, can machine think? Okay, so this is the definition of the Turing test. So in short, Turing test is conducted to check whether a machine can think like a human or not. Now, look at this figure. Here you will see player A, player B and player C. Player A, that is a computer, and player B, that is a human responder, and then player C is the interrogator. Then what are they? Well, look at this uh, figure very carefully. Now I am coming to the elaboration of the scene. So from this figure, you have seen that this test involves three players. One is computer, another is human responder, and the third one is human interrogator and do note that this human this is the human interrogator and this is being isolated from these two players okay and the interrogator's job is to find what is to find that which player is missing among two of them okay in this figure player a is a computer and player b is the human and player c is the interrogator but interrogator is aware with the fact that one of A and B is machine. But he needs to identify this on the basis of some questions and the responses got from them. Means player A and player B. Got it. So the conversation between these players will be taken place via keyword and screen so that the result would not depend on the machine's ability to convert words and speech. So here, this thing is very critical that there should not be any particular um, tasks involved 
which only a machines can do. Means rock only through a machines can do, like the ability to convert words as space. So this is not included. That's why the conversation will take place via keyboard and screen. Okay. So this figure is clear. We want player A, that is a computer, but interrogator player C doesn't know about that this player A is a computer. And player B is the human responder. Now coming to the questions, as I have stated, said as I have said that this uh, thesis totally depend on the question, some questions and the responses. Okay, and questions that will be uh, raised by this interrogator and the response that will be coming from these two players. Well, what type of question they will be? Let's look at this. And this will be like this one. And suppose interrogator asks, are you a computer? Okay, then player A, which is a computer, you got it? No. It responds with no. Then interrogator asks, multiply two large numbers, means this one, suppose. That interrogator will ask that multiply, say, 2, 5, 6, 8, 9, 6, 4, 8, 9, by 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 5, 8, 9, 6. So why interrogator asks player A to multiply these two big numbers? Yes, I know you already got it. Because maybe uh, some doubts are also occurring on some uh, that why these two numbers, big numbers. Because you know, as a human being, if I ask you the same question, what will happen? Obviously, you will take few minutes of time. Few minutes, if, you do, if it is not few minutes, if you are faster in computation, then at least you may take one minute of time to compute this big product, isn't it? And also, there will be a probability that that multiplication may be a wrong answer provided by you means you may give a wrong answer you may do you may do some mistakes while computing this multiplication isn't it because we are humans we do mistakes so that's why the interrogator asks this multiply this two large number because if it is a computer it can multiply these two numbers within very few second even in my ms or microsecond isn't it and also that will be a correct answer. That will be accurate because machines gives the correct answer for this big competition. That's why the machine is for. Now, what the player A responds for this question is like this. Player A, long pause and give the wrong answer. Why? Because player A has the intelligence that, yeah, the interrogator is trying to check that whether I have the intelligence to be mimic like a mimicking like a human being or not so it takes long pause just like a human do and gives the wrong answer that is also a probability from a human being so what happens in this game if an interrogator would not be able to identify which is machine and which is human then the computer passes the test successfully and the machine is said to be intelligent and can think like a human well from this uh, response, obviously, the interrogator will think that, yeah, this is a human being. So then the test will be passed. And passed means the result is that player A, that is computer A, or that machine has that intelligence like a human being. Got it? Now, what will be those features required for a machine to pass the Turing test? And they are like this. First one is natural language processing. And this is required because to put the because to make the communication with the interrogator in general human language like English. That's why the NLP is used. Okay, then knowledge representation, and this is very important. And I'm going to cover in some coming lectures of this artificial intelligence. Okay, so knowledge representation to store and retrieve information during the test. Main purpose is to store and retrieve information. Then automated reasoning to use the previously stored information for answering the questions. Okay. Then machine learning to adapt new senses and can detect generalized patterns. Okay. Then vision to recognize the interrogator actions and other objects during a test. 
that's why the computer vision is used you know then motor control to act upon objects if requested clear so nlp knowledge representation automated reasoning machine learning visions or motor control they will be required for a machine to pass the turing test okay i hope this turing test definition and how the turing test takes place and the questions answers answers uh, pattern uh, what is what will be the question answers patterns during the test and what are the features required for this test so i hope these are clear to you now coming to the weakness part of the turing machine although the turing machine is very famous but still it has some weakness because it, it has not considered two important points and what are they now we are going to discuss actually the turing test doesn't directly test whether the computer behaves intelligently what does it mean exactly it tests only whether the computer behaves like a human being but you know since human behavior and intelligent behavior are not exactly the same thing so the test can fail to accurately me measure intelligence in two different ways what are they some human behavior is unintelligent and some intelligent behavior is inhuman got it so taking the first one considering this one so some human behavior is unintelligent what does it mean exactly well insulting someone is also a human behavior you all know that but can you uh, say that this behavior of human that is insulting someone is it intelligent no that is an unintelligent behavior okay then some intelligent behavior is inhuman like a big computation and in very few um, uh, microseconds or seconds of time if a big computation can be done then that is of course not a intelligent behavior from human side so this is an intelligent behavior from some inhuman side and these two facts are not considered during the turing test that's why that becomes a witness of turing machine and many times the turing test is being criticized for these two facts i hope this is clear to you now this will be more clear from this diagram which is the van diagram you see this side we have human behavior and this side we have intelligent behavior now human behavior this circle some portion share unintelligent human behavior and this side intelligent behavior some portion are intelligent behavior humans don't do okay but turing test is this one and it is not considering this two well so this is the weakness of turing test so i hope this is clear to you so today we have gone through the turing test in details and now i am coming to this assignment portion and this is very important okay i want all of you to go through this assignment and this assignment is what is original imitation game test you may pause the video for a while and you can take a snapshot or screenshot of this one what is original imitation game test do some study then post one line answer through comments for this question okay for this assignment do it i know you will do it and you will post the answer now coming to the question question from today's lecture is that how many players involved in turing test yeah how many players involved in the turing test is it one is it two is it three is it four so just comment your answer and of course i will respond to the answer so guys i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and if you think that this lecture series on artificial intelligence is helping you then do subscribe to this channel and also share with your friends so that they will also get benefit from this lecture series then we'll meet in the next lecture till then take care bye bye